Everyone's heard the saying, family first. But what if your spouse, the person who's supposed to love and protect you, didn't abide by that? On today's case, Mrs. Kelsey says her husband's priorities have been anywhere but home, and family has been the last thing on his mind, which is why she has kicked him out. Will he be able to move back into the family home, or will he be locked out for good? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Kelsey versus Kelsey. Thank you. Mrs. Kelsey, Mr. Kelsey. Mrs. Kelsey, you say you're ready to divorce your husband, whom you say is a liar, a cheater, and emotionally unavailable to you and your children. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Kelsey, you say you are very remorseful about your previous infidelity and you don't want a divorce. You want to prove to your wife of 13 years that you are ready and willing to do anything to get your family back. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so, Mrs. Kelsey, this seems very serious. Tell me what's going on. I have been with this man for 15 years of my life. You know, I had two kids when we got together. He has been their father. They chose to call him dad. We have two kids between us two, but I feel like I have five kids. I do everything for him. I feel like I'm always the one giving all of myself to everybody, and nobody does anything for me. And I'm tired. You think it's time for you to put a little bit of focus back on... On me. ...you. Mr. Kelsey, you heard what your wife says. What do you say? She's telling the truth. I know I messed up, but I want my family back. I want my wife back. I've been gone for six months now, and it's, it's not right. Mr. Kelsey, something tells me Mrs. Kelsey has cried her last tear. Yeah. I mean, when I was pregnant, I woke up one night and he wasn't there. At the house? At the house. I woke up and he wasn't there. I look on the computer, his messenger is up, and he's talking to another woman, talking about he's about to pull up. Wait a minute, hold up. I'm at home pregnant. He had his messenger on the family computer. Mm-hmm. That... On our shared laptop. So that you can see in real time... Him talking to her, telling her he's about to pull up. And you are at home in bed... Pregnant. Pregnant with his child. Yes. You know, and of course, I get on there and I'm like, you where? With who? It's not going down. And I let him know, you can keep... Stay there. Stay there with her. You know, but I still took him back after that. Mr. Kelsey, what was going on with you? Back then, where well, she was on bed rest, basically, I wanted affection, so I just... Found a, found a, a friend. I mean, I wanted, I wanted to talk and to somebody. And that's the problem. I want it. It's always, I want it. I wanted this. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this. It's never about what I want. Serious? Yes. That's I do it. everything you ask for. Anything you tell me to do, I do it for you. Really? Really. Or are you kind of going to the store? Cause no, that's anything you is? ask me to do, really? I do for you. Oh, really? If I, if I mean all this, why, why? Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening, Mr. Kelsey. Why are you still engaging with other females? I mean, I'm, I, I did some dumb stuff. I mean, I, 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 these well, six you months... told me you had done some dumb stuff before. Well, all the, yeah, I've been... It yeah. sounds like you still but doing no, dumb no, stuff. That, that's, this, all this stuff it's is from back... Stuff. No, all this stuff is from back in the day. How about Facebook? How about Facebook? But, Go through his Facebook. I, I, he I, got I, thousands I, of I, pictures. I, yes, I got a lot thousands. of Thousands. Ask him how many pictures there are of me. Do you agree that there are thousands of pictures on your Facebook? Just a variety yes. of pictures? Yes, yes, it is. How many are there of her or the two of you together? I say probably, like, maybe... TikTok. TikTok. 15, maybe. 15. And even I went through my pictures. I don't have a lot of pictures of him because he's not there at the important stuff. He's not there at the first day of kindergarten. He's not there at parent-teacher conferences. I'm there alone looking like a no, single no. parent. I received a scholarship through my job. Really important to me. I wasn't that far away from my bachelor's degree when I was pregnant with our daughter. They gave me a scholarship so I could go back to school. Did you go it, back to school? Yes, I did. Bravo! Yes, I did. But it was a big thing. Like it's everybody a big at my thing. job That's showed a big up. Thing. My kids showed up. Where was he? Your at husband home? didn't come? No, he was at home. There are very few occasions that a family can truly celebrate, but when one of the family members steps out in that whole education thing, that is a moment of pride not just for the person who is going to be the graduate, but your children get a chance to see that their mother is a college graduate. That's the kind of thing that should make you want to jump up and down and say, you go, baby. Why were you not there, sir? I did. I, 
I was busy. I couldn't. I was. Pro- yeah, there is nothing that should have stopped you, yeah. unless you were getting a kidney transplant. You're right. Mm-hmm. When your woman, your wife, was doing something for your family, do you know how education changes a generation? And you basically poo-pooed it. You have to explain to me what was more important ESPN. to you at that moment, sir. ESPN. I was busy at work. You were busy at work? He was at home watching TV where he's always like is, sitting in that recliner with his headphones on on Facebook. And speaking of you saying the kidney... Re- when my kidney got removed... Oh, I- Lord, I just pulled that out of oh. the When my kidney got removed... He took me to the hospital. I'm not going to take that away hours. from you. He was there. Okay. He was there. Excuse but then me. he left. He left, we got kids. and I was there we by got myself. Kids. We got kids that can take care of themselves. My daughter was 15. And even after How he long came were you in the hospital? For three days. And then I came home. He was gone. He didn't take off a day of work. I could barely walk to the bathroom at that time. Did he try to cook? Did he try to clean up? No. I still had to do everything, like I always do. And I went back to work in a week and a half. I mean, I don't know what more I can do. I was the submissive wife. I, I was the dominant wife. What else can I do? You don't need to do another daggone thing, Mr. Kelsey. He wouldn't even move out. He wouldn't even leave. So I had to find him an apartment. I pay it. He's living by himself. I, I mean, make sure stuff. We help when each he other. Needed, what have you helped me do? Mr. Kelsey, yeah. do you admit that you've not carried your weight in this marriage? I haven't, but I'm, I'm, that's why I'm here today. I want to prove her wrong. I'm How, no, no, no. The way you prove a person wrong is with evidence. When my kidney got removed... Oh, Lord, I just pulled that out of oh. the head. When my kidney got removed... He took me to the hospital. I'm not going to take that away from you. He was there. He was there. But then he left. Help me to understand why you weren't there. I mean, I just didn't want to see her like that. When we were were there, we we sat down with her. She was just just in pain. She was crying. I just just didn't want to see that. And 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 I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I messed up. It's always I messed up. Dude, what I, 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 I messed up, but I'm, I'm my bad, though. What, what, what I'm supposed to, what, how am I supposed to do something if I'm away from my house for six months? She's like, oh, you don't do nothing? He ain't did nothing there. You know what I do at home in six months? You, you, how do you know? You know what I be doing? I, I bought your groceries for the first three months okay. you were there. You said, hey. I'm doing everything in my power to keep calm. I'm doing everything in my power to keep calm. I'm doing everything in my power to keep calm. I'm going to do a woo-saw moment in a minute because... I have not heard one thing that you are doing to repair your marriage. I've now heard you're unreliable. I have now heard that you're not there when she needs you for health reasons. Please tell me that he is a good provider. I'm not gonna lie, he does work. And that's always his excuse, I work. And I'm proud, I'm proud that he has a job, you know, cause there's a lot of men who don't work. But he's had chances to move up. I don't wanna move he's up. Ha- Dude, if you if you if you don't understand, we got four kids. Dude, we got four kids. You, like we, you don't want to make more money. Dude, you no, like we, but I gotta like make we, the more hurt, money. You act like we hurting though. Excuse me, excuse me, um, Mr. Kelsey. Yes. If my husband kept calling me, dude, I would throw something at him. I'm sorry. I haven't heard babe, honey, anything that that resembles affection. Because that's you what might I mean. almost need to say mama because it sounds like she's well. been taking care of you yeah. for a very long might time. Might as well, dude. No, she, sorry. So she don't then, let me... even when, when we did break up, he wouldn't even move out. He wouldn't even leave. So I had to find him an apartment. I had to I, set up his stuff. I, I set up his, 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 his gas, you, his lights. You know, I pay it. He's living by himself. I, I mean, make sure stuff. We help when each he other. needed... What have you helped me do? Dude, I'll give you... Dude, what so have you helped so me so do? You, so you oh. tell me I gave you money since I've been out of the house. And how much money have you spent? One time, please. One other time. How much money did you spend, though? Then you want some money today. Really? And I should. And I should, because I take care of I those no kids by I, myself. I got no problem. He don't you... feed those kids. He don't clothe those kids. He don't do anything for them. You know what I'm saying? He has forgotten about my two oldest kids since he left. The nope. kids that chose him as a dad. Mr. Kelsey, yeah. do you admit that you've not carried your weight in this marriage? I haven't, but I'm, I'm, that's why I'm here today, to tell y'all I want to... I want to... I want to prove her wrong. I mean... No, no, no. The way you prove a person wrong is with evidence. So, you've been out of the house for six, six months. months. Yes, ma'am. In those six months, have you paid child support no. on a regular basis? No, ma'am, because she was... Cause uh, but, 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 in those six months, have you come over to the family home 
to spend family time with your children? No, ma'am. Let's hear from your oldest child to see what um, she has to say. Them being together puts a strain on not only them, but us as well as the kids. Do you think they should stay together? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Mr. Kelsey, you haven't really been in the kid's life for the last six months, so let's hear from your oldest child to see what um, she has to say. Hello, beautiful young lady. Hi. So, Lanaya, tell me what it was like when your stepfather came into your life. Um, Your Honor, he's just the only person I've ever known as my father, mm -hmm. and he meant the world to me. But it felt like around when my sister was born, and it kind of felt like it was his daughter's, and we were there because we were her kids, and not he wanted to be there. I'm trying to go to college. I'm trying yes. to get everything done. I have called him, and I've made you know, initiative to make that bond, but it feels like it's not being reciprocated. I'm, I'm, my heart breaks for this because this is the time when you are supposed to be focused on what your extracurricular activities are going to be, putting your college application together, writing your personal statements. We want you to be so successful, to follow in your mom's footsteps. You saw your mom get her degree, and all of us are proud of what you're trying to accomplish. Your mother especially, she is extremely proud. Um, Lanaya, tell me, how has it been since your father has left the house? Has he come to any of the senior events? The senior events, I've had so many because I'm involved in school and very involved in my community. And my dad has been to maybe like two or three, but I don't think he came because he knew it was a senior thing. Like, he just came because... He knew that, you know, my mom would be there and that it would be good for her to see him there. But I feel like I was kind of forgotten, and it, it hurts. Mr. Kelsey, do you hear your daughter talking? Yes, Your Honor. Lanaya, this is a very tough question because most children want to see their parents together. But you've seen how your mother um, has reacted. You've seen how your father has failed to react. Do you think they should stay together, or do you think they would be better apart? I do want him to stay a part of my life and my brother's life and my sister's life, but I feel like it would be best for them to work as parents and not as husband and wife. After the split, it was kind of like, you know, peace. Like, it was quiet. We would be able to sit and watch a movie and no one was yelling, but I feel like them being together mm -hmm. puts a strain on not only them, but us as well as the kids. Lanaya, I want to congratulate you on what you've accomplished. I want to wish you so much good luck as you step into adulthood. Good luck with colleges. Please make sure you let me know which school you get into. And I hope you get some money to help you she has along a the way. <laughs> she already has a full ride. What it's school a you... a presidential scholarship. You got a presidential scholarship. Girl, you left yeah. that out. You're supposed <laughs> to tell me that. <laughs> you go, girl. Harris mm -hmm. Stowe State University in St. Louis. I am so proud. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. So, guess what? Now I'm about to send you back because this is a school day. Go, go to school. Thank you. I don't know what you all did and who contributed what, but you raised a pretty fabulous young lady, and congratulations. Yeah, I love her more than life. Like, that is my best friend, and I know that sounds weird because no, it's she's not. my daughter. And hearing her say that just makes me realize that maybe this is pointless. Nothing should be this hard. Love shouldn't be this hard. You know, Mrs. Kelsey, when you came in here, you said that um, you're uncomfortable that your husband hides the fact that you're married and... And he's unreliable. Yeah, and I, I think I'm ready. I already have the divorce papers drawn up. I just don't think that this is worth it anymore. But I'm ready. I'm ready for this to be over. You have the divorce papers with you? Yep. May I already see them? I'm ready to sign. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, this is a formal petition 
for a divorce. Mm hmm I'm, I'm ready. And Mrs. Kelsey? Mm hmm The only thing left to do is to sign this. Yep. Can I say something? Absolutely, Mr. Kelsey. Mathia, I know just me telling you I love you, that's not gonna prove nothing. Like, exactly. I, told, I told you before we flew so down here. Do... I, we, I, we talked about this before I flew down here. I, I said, I, I didn't so wanna be down here. How long do I have to wait for? How Dude, long the, do I have you to said wait? We gonna, we even can't, coming we, here, we even coming here, listen, even coming here, who did everything? Who got the stuff for your suitcase? Who got your suitcase? You got it for me. But I'm working. I can't be doing all this stuff. I work 12 hours. Close. I'm tired. I'm t- You're tired. I take care of four, four kids and I work. You're tired. Right. I work a full-time job and I take care of four kids and I make it to everything that my kids do, no matter how tired I am. I'm Robert, diabetic, I got one Anna, kidney, and I do everything. Mrs. Kelsey, I have handed you back these papers. The only thing that's left to do, if you want to, is sign those papers. Thea. Robert, may I have those papers back? Absolutely. So basically, you, you set me up, right? Oh, it's a set up. Man, what did you tell me before we went out here? All these people get divorced, we gonna work it out. I see what, I see what you mean. But is. the whole part of us coming here, you didn't try to work on anything. Dude, we was... okay. I'm still doing everything by myself. Mr. Kelsey, um, when you came here, you admit that you are not there for your wife and there for your children and that you have not taken full responsibility as a man in your house. You admit that. Yes, yeah. but Thea, I need you. So just sign Thea. the papers already. Just Thea. sign them. Let me live my life. You live your life. You know so, what I'm so saying? Said, and you so, can help with the kids. I've never stopped him from helping with the kids. I've never stopped the kids. So I got everybody thinking we about to try to make work this out. So it's all. I didn't tell all, you to tell anybody slapping, anything. It's all a slap in the face. I didn't tell you to tell anybody. Mr. Kelsey, anybody. Mr. Kelsey, here's the deal. You have every opportunity, you've had every opportunity over the last 15 years to show your wife the kind of man you were going to be. You've had every opportunity in the last six months since you've been out of the family home to show your wife presently the kind of man you are. When a person shows you who they are, you need to believe them the first time. The best thing that could happen to you is that you figure out how to have a relationship with your children. Robert, your children are the most important thing. The most important thing. You've got an amazing young lady who is about to embark on being an adult. You have children who are going to grow into the next generation of our leaders in our country. You want to put your mark on them, and you don't want that to be the mark of a stain of somebody who is irresponsible, a narcissist, a liar, unreliable, somebody that their mother can't depend on. So, the last 15 years, you've not been a reliable partner. The last six months, you have not shown that you can be a reliable partner. Robert, please hand those to Mr. Kelsey. Mr. Kelsey, I am not gonna tell you what to do, but what I am gonna tell you right now, you've been served. Things didn't, didn't go as good today. I just need to work, work, focus on myself, my kids, and just be a better person. I've tried and I've given chances and chances and chances, but I mean, when it's my chance, it's time for me to take care of me and my kids. Robert, that family is really on the edge of becoming really who they should be, and he does not deserve that family. For him to say, oh, yeah, that was stupid, oh, that, oh yeah, my bad. No, nah, dude, that was horrible. Mm, best thing that could happen to her, she move on with her life. I let him keep the pen, by the way. <laughs>